Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. I think about two years ago I uh, made my first uh, kind of like washi tapes or uh, self-adhesive tapes using all kind of scraps and it's very easy craft. You just need lots of your scraps, any size you want. You need double-sided tape and then you just take your scraps and you will start to place them on your double-sided tape. At that time, uh, I also used my sanding tool and I did sand the edges, but this time, like here, you know, to make it straight. And I did really love that. The result was amazing and I really loved that, but uh, you had so many great ideas. Do not scratch or do not sand the edges, just leave it as it is, because that will be totally amazing decoration in the journal. And I agree i can always sand it if i will need to have their you know straight edges i can always sand it with my sanding tool but with these rough edges it looks so awesome so this is one easy way how you can make your washi tapes use your scraps use your off cuts maybe napkins any any kind of scraps you have and just lay them on your double-sided tape the positive of this uh, is that you can use stamps stencils and stamp on these it's very easy to do it doesn't take too much time and you will have your unique washi tape for your journals and as you can see it's really easy just layer your scraps on your paper so that's one type you can do to make your own washi tapes but there is so many other types you can so many other uh, other tapes actually what you can use to create your washi tape and they are also perfect so i'm gonna keep this as it is i'm gonna add here on the bottom something 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 small right here And I'm gonna keep this with those rough edges and maybe if I will need so I can use it somewhere in my journal and I still have <laughs> loads of rip out pages from my previous work with that hundred days challenge so this these rip out pieces are from my mini notepads and I still do have from those mini notepads this one and I can use them to create beautiful kind of like semi-transparent washi tapes and for that uh, I'm using this medicals or surgery tape it's brilliant I love to use it I'm, I'm using this tape quite often in my journals lately mostly for everything <laughs> so this tape or masking tape and what I found you can also stamp on masking tape even masking tape is made to be resistant to paint I think just I'm just gonna this is masking tape I tried to use for this technique and this top are stamped straight away on masking tape here on this half I used this um, window um, napkins what is it tissue napkins wet wet wipes wipes oh my wet wipes and they do have probably alcohol in it because it smells like alcohol so what i did here I, on this half i didn't do anything at all i just lay down my masking tape first on my leftover from my little notepads it's newspaper glued on envelope so it does have strong background otherwise newspaper is very fragile and it will probably don't make same effect it will rip off the newspaper only but here when i am ripping it off it does have kind of like empty places in between which is perfect for making beautiful semi-transparent washi tape so what i did here on this i'm gonna give it a try this is not coated side 
and I can still see that it's leaking ink. So now I'm with alcohol ink. So okay. I hope this look. It's dry totally. So <laughs> what I did, I just wiped my masking tape on the top with this wet napkin. And then I used my stamps on it. And I let it dry. Just easy way. Stamp on it. And maybe for some raised embossed effect like here, you can use oops. You can use these, those pearls. And you can add those pearls to your stamped image. And leave there these pearls to dry. Once it's dry, it's quite amazing. Look at that, look at that look. I also used gold marker to add some doodling. So you can add any kind of doodling you like, any kind of color you like. And just play with your masking tape. And same it works with this medical tape. The medical tape is even more transparent. But it does have same same issue, kind of ish, that it's a little bit harder to stamp on it. So just glue your medical tape over book pages, decorative papers, newspapers. Place it on some flat, non-sticky background. Here I do have glass table, so it's perfect. But you can use uh, maybe sheets from uh, labels or maybe parchment paper, I guess. So lay it on some non-sticky background where you will be able to lift it up later. I'm going to try. I didn't try on this one. So I'm going to try. I'm gonna use the same ink like here, but the, these two inks I used, this is the black one. Good. No, this one dry. I think, oh, no, not properly. Okay, this is totally dry. And this is not dry. It's still losing the ink. And this one, it's that red one. So I'm gonna give it dry here. Okay, it's very soft. I'm gonna move this one aside. And I'm gonna place here one more time my medical tape. Oops. Without wiping it with that wet wipe. So this, I have used my wet wipe on it, and this one I did not. We will see. Yes, yeah, stamping is quite similar, and I'm gonna let it dry for about half an hour at least. And I'm back on my table. This strip was the one which I wiped with my wet wipe, and this one was the one which I didn't. I think. <laughs> I will see. So. And I do have red ink. And I do have red ink as well. So it doesn't work with that with wipe on my uh, medical tape. But it does work with that wet wipe on masking tape. Look, here I can wipe it off totally. And now masking tape. Nothing, nothing at all. So it works on masking tape. <clears throat> Just any of these uh, alcohol uh, wet wipes will probably do same on masking tapes. And then just you enjoy it to create your own 
washi tapes. So I'm gonna use masking tape. Also, there is so many wonderful tutorials how you can create uh, your own washi tapes. I saw really beautiful tutorial on Maremi Small Art channel. Marta did uh, painted her, stamped her uh, washi tapes, or yeah, washi tapes, masking tape. And then she used that in her project. That was amazing to watch. And if you are careful enough, you will have a layer of book page underneath. I'm going to show it probably from this side. So there is a layer of book, uh, book page. layer of newspapers. more you will press, the better result you will get. And as masking tape is semi-transparent, you can always, you know, achieve beautiful effect. And then just first use wet wipe to prepare your masking tape for stamping or for coloring. So it will stack better way. And then use your stamps and start to create your layout. And maybe it will be even possible to glue something on, on the top. It's mostly very hard to glue something on masking tapes. But I think with this preparation, <clears throat> it can be possible. And maybe take some liquid pearls and start to add your liquid pearls on your washi tape. And here are my washi tapes. I pull out my little box with uh, liquid pearls because I haven't used them for years. And I was thinking, well, maybe I can try. <laughs> it's not easy. But I really love that. This is still wet, so I'm not going to touch it. But 
I love this combination, the purple one, glittery one, with the gold. It looks awesome. Look at that. It looks so awesome. And I really love the newspapers in the background on these. And the stamping holds much, much better when you wipe off the masking tape first with some alcohol wet wipe. And then you have it. You have beautiful newspaper background in the background. Then you can stamp on it. You can put any colors on it. And these are dry already, I think. Yeah, they are dry. So you can use your liquid pearls on it. And it looks amazing. And you will have decorative washi tape. I think this is dry as well. Oh, shoot. This is not dry. And I just <laughs> pushed my finger in. Okay, I'm going to try from this side. But it's not easy to work with these liquid pearls. I have to say here I put few colors on one strip. So this is my sharing for today. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope I bring you some idea what to do. If you do have drawer where you are storing your liquid pearls and you haven't used them for ages like I didn't use them for ages. Maybe it's time. Try it. You will see. <laughs> Hopefully you will have lots of fun. Thank you so much for visiting me today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.